I'm Anil Kumar and here is a review on the seven postulates about points, lines and planes. As I said, it is very important to know exactly what the postulates are. So in this particular video, we'll kind of get a picture of this and then we'll move on to answer related questions. We learn 2.1 is line is defined by two points. That is how we can translate what 2.1 is. So 2.1, the first postulate which we learned about points, lines and planes was that given two points, then there is exactly one line which can go through them. So it defines a line. A line is defined by two points. That is what it is. Now the second one is definition of plane. So it is defined by three points. So if we have three non-collinear points, then there is uniquely one plane which will contain all three of them. Third one is about minimum number of points on a line, right? It says if there is a line, then on that line, minimum two points are there, right? Because those two points have defined the line. That is what we learned in one, correct? But there are many more points on this, right? In fact, there are infinite number of collinear points, correct? That makes a line. Now the next one is that a plane contains minimum three points. So if we have a plane, then in that plane, we'll have at least three points which basically define the plane, right? But there could be other points also. But remember one thing, plane contains minimum three points. So that is what it is. So that is minimum three points. It can have much more, right? Fifth is, plane contains the two points along with the entire line. So it says that if a plane is defined and we have somehow two points which are in the plane. In that case, you know, plane will contain these two points, but it will also contain the whole line which has these two points. That is what it is. So whenever I'm drawing this parallelogram for a plane, it extends till infinity on all the sides, just as a line extends in infinity. So as the line progresses, it is within the plane. So 2.5 is that a plane contains two points along with the whole line, correct? So let's summarize the first five. The first one is that line is defined by two points. A plane is defined by three points, that is two. Third one is line has minimum two number of points. Plane has minimum three number of points. A plane not only contains two points, it contains the whole line which is having those two points, correct? So these are first five and sixth and seventh are based on intersection. Now, two lines may or may not intersect. That is very important to understand. But in case they intersect, in that case, they intersect always in one point. So that is what it is. They intersect at one point. And in case of planes also, you could have parallel planes, right? But if there are two planes which intersect, then how will they intersect? They are going to intersect in a line. Do you understand? They will intersect in a line and that is 2.7. So that is how you can draw it, correct? You can draw a distorted line and then kind of like this. So that is how the planes intersect. So keep these figures in your mind so that you get all the seven postulates. One and two define line and plane. Line is defined by two points, plane is defined by three points. Three and four says that lines have minimum two points. It has infinite points, collinear. Plane says that the plane has minimum three points. It could have many more. 2.5 says that if two points are contained in a plane, then the whole line having those two points is also contained in the plane. And 2.6 is, if two lines intersect, they do so at one point. And if two planes intersect, 
they intersect in a line. I hope these seven postulates about points, lines and planes are absolutely clear and now we can use them to prove other statements and to prove theorems. Thank you and all the best.